as we take a look at the tail of the tape for this lightweight bout scheduled for two. 32, 34, 5, 10, 5, 9. And there you see the slight reach advantage going the way of the American Will Brooks at 72 and 42. For the official introductions of this lightweight bout, we check in now with Joe Martinez. And now, five bands, we are set to go with this quarterfinal matchup. Two rounds scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer standing five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in officially 154 and one half pounds in 23 profession bouts. His record outstanding with 21 victories. Just two defeats. Here's the number seven seeded lightweight from Makachka, Dagestan, Russia, Rashid Goretz Magomedov. And his opponent across the cage, fighting into the red corner. His background, wrestling and kickboxing. At five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in 155 and three quarter pounds. In 23 profession bouts, his record, 19 victories and four defeats. The number two seated lightweight from Chicago, Illinois, M. Will Brooks. And your referee in charge of the action is Mike Bertrand. So here we go in the lightweight division. This is playoff fighting. Win twice in one night, and you are on your way to New York City to fight for one million dollars. All right, gentlemen, first round. You're gonna fight. Right, gentlemen, right. we'll You're gonna fight. fight off. You're gonna fight. <laughs> Hell, let's go. We don't play. There's a lot of sports you play, yeah. but MMA isn't one of them. That's it. No play fighting. We, it's a fight off. And this is a fantastic matchup, guys. Anyway, this could be a title card kind of fight. Main event on any other card with Brooks and Maga Madoff. Contrasting styles, though. We talked a little bit about this as Will Brooks has very athletic background with wrestling, kickboxing, he's a good striker as well. But the Dagestani fighters are, I mean, we just saw it last week. Conor McGregor, ask him. These guys are beasts, especially when you get it to the ground. Well, we're seeing a Mega Madoff who's coming off of a fight where he threw 222 yeah. strikes uh, against Luis Firmino in, the, in his last outing for the TFL. He's got a great boxing pedigree. He's one of the few Dagestani fighters that really probably prefers boss maybe to stand up and strike with him. You know, the great thing is his wrestling is really good as well. So you yeah, stop to take that, but then when it goes to the ground, he has great ground for it yeah. as well. So this guy is dangerous everywhere, but so is Will Brooks. Yeah. Will Brooks is a very game opponent. Remember, two rounds, five-minute rounds. The first round would be the tiebreaker if it goes to that. Eve Edwards, if you're in the corner with Will Brooks, what are you telling your fighter against a very dangerous Maga Madoff? Rashid Magomedov is the kind of guy that likes to control the range. You've got to press him and make him back up. But you've got to stay in front of him and cut him off. At the same time, you've got to be aware that his boxing is shot. Will should know this, though. Both of these men train at American Top Team. They've both been there for a few years. A little angle off to the so jab. They've seen each other a bit, even if they haven't seen each other. Good! Knee. You got those knees in that spot. Angle, angle. Good, Will. Try to go under with that next time. Understand, Ooh, look at that. Almost high kick in the face. He's never been finished. Yeah. This guy in all his fights. 23 fights, never been finished. That's that's so that's so high fight. Good. He knows when he's in trouble. He protects himself. And you see both guys are standing just outside the reach. You see that? It's very hard to connect. The kicks, they land, but it's with the foot the whole time. It's not to do with the end step, but with, with the shit. He likes to go top shelf with that kick. This is, this is the reason I wanted to see this fight most of all, is because it's going to be a tactical match. Both these guys a little bit about each other. Cup check. They're off balance. Check the cup. Will yeah, Brooks there. You guys think back about June when we met with a lot of these fighters and Will Brooks was coming into the season on a losing streak and he has certainly turned it around now trying to fight his way into the semifinals tonight here in Long Beach. You know what, it's funny that you talk about it because that's what Michael Maynard told us. He said, you know, Brooks was very strong in Bellator and then he went to the UFC and he wasn't so strong but now he's strong again. Yeah. Not to be looking too far ahead later tonight live on NBCSN. The winner of this bout will fight again either uh, Mamadov or Tavares, the winner of that fight, will meet the winner of this one in the semifinals. I love that, hitting even the thigh. Eve, you've had experience, right, with Will Brooks training with him. You were talking about the strength of this guy's legs. Will Brooks is a powerful man. I mean, 
Look at his legs. They're like tree trunks. And he, he uses them well. He will drive. He used to play football when he wanted to get into fighting. And those he brought those football legs with him, and he can run over most guys. But Rashid Magomedov has great hips, uses great angles. He's been hard for Will Butch to take down. See Thiago Tavares, the Brazilian, backstage watching if he's advancing out of his fight. He can fight the winner of this one. So everyone kind of steady, keeping abreast of who's doing what and when. I like Brooks though, every left kick that Magomedov is thrown, he's almost counted with a right straight. So he did watch some footage on him. Yeah, and that's the textbook rule. Fire right back down the same line. This first round is really close. Yeah. Randy, under a minute to go in this one, scheduled for two rounds. At this point, who do you have to give this one to? Well, it's, uh, it's been tough to, uh, to, to see either guy distinguish himself more right. than the other. They've, they've both landed significant shots, great kicks, great range, controlling either guy has really pushed it. So, it's be a tough one for the judges to score. Oh, 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 just landed a big right hand as a counter. And that, you know, that's late in the round. That could really sit in the judges' mind. What's amazing about this, and, and Boss, you talked about this a little bit yesterday, is the number in front of your name really doesn't mean a whole lot when you get this point. I mean, Will Brooks is the number two seed, a very tough, lightweight division, and Magan Madoff is the seven seed. It doesn't look like a two seven here right now. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's just a number. You know, what we already talked about. Yeah, once you get to the playoffs, it's a one versus a one. These are the best guys in the NFL. Nice combination to wrap up round number one. Now the big question will be who is going to win that first round? We'll go to the red corner of Will Brooks and listen in. I'm not sure where they're at with it. Right? I'm not sure where they're at with that one at all. Um, you got that right uppercut. Uh, off that long jab, right uppercut, just watch the counters. You're a little high with that straight right, right? So either throw it down here or here, counter uh, off that left kick or left hook, right? Um, he's leaning on your one-two, he's leaning straight down or he's leaning straight down. Lower that shot, it'll hit him in the chest, and then kick. Uh, again, that, that round's close, very close, right? With the counter and try to counter you off the fence. You, you jab, you play the jab, try to come back, counter the right hand. Put the right hand, ball to the left hook, I promise. Yeah. Counter those counters. We need this round. Mouthpiece in. Mouthpiece in. Break down that advice. Did you see the same thing he was seeing? We'll start with you, Randy. Well, I, I mean, he's asking to counter those counters. Medoff is, a, is a kind of a counter puncher. He waits to see what you throw. He slips and then he makes you pay. They're wanting. They're wanting right, to respond to that by Ready countering his, with his own. Let's go. He gets his head one side or the other. When you throw, you need to follow with that kick. And uh, we'll see if you can pull that off. It's still hard. 50 50 shots, right? Yeah. It's either to the left or to the right. Look at this. Will Brooks is bringing it in. <laughs> oh, I like that. Spin back kick, which is smart because once you start doing a little dance, she's doing it on the spot, so his body's not moving to the left or right. Great moment to attack. To speak to what you said, Todd, what Will needs to do is Will needs to put something out there as bait. Will will need to throw a jab, oh. throw a cross, but know where he's at just to see what Rashid re reacts with and then try to counter his reaction. And Rashid landed some shots in that first round. He, he outlanded Will Brooks 14 to 2 in punches, 10 to 3 with kicks. Will Brooks has not had a stoppage in a significant amount of time, so if it, the stoppage is going to get him the win, he's going to. This would be an opportune time to break that streak. Yeah, and by the way, of just uh, landed that uh, left front kick in the face of Brooks. That's going to stand out with the uh, judges. Oh, oh that's 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 with the little feint he made before. Yep. With his left leg, move to the left and right, and then he does it again. As former fighters, guys, do you appreciate the corner being honest? His corner came in right away and said, I don't know how that one's going to go. I think you have to be honest. You can't give me any false sense of security. And especially with the first round being the tiebreaker, I guess the worst thing you can tell him is, oh, you got that one, don't worry about it. As you know, if you give him false sense uh, information, then the next time he's not going to believe you anymore. Look at hands, Ashi. Yes, I'm here. You got that right knee straight underneath. Lift up, right knee, 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 right Da, da. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep. Keep working, keep working. 
Azula Will is strong. He's a powerful guy. It's going to be hard for Rashid to turn right him knee, around. Right right, right, he's right, doing right, exactly right. what he needs, getting to that underhook. Lee Palma in circling towards that underhook. Got his back off the fence. That underhook lets him engage his hip and lets him move in that direction because Will can't power down on that side. Eve, is this a mistake for Will Brooks to go into this close quarter kind of grinding, dirty boxing? Or do you think he should open this thing up a bit? Only, when, only if they're in the open. Will can press Rashid up against the fence. That's better for him. And then we come back with that left. Rashid, be careful. Rashid, Kick to the head. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty basic instruction. I would have the head. Don't miss. Kick to the head. Don't miss. That's good stuff. That's, good stuff. That's what you got to do. Yeah. I think Brooks, what he's doing with his front leg, you know, twisting it the whole time, he's setting him up. That's how he landed that big hand uh, early in the round. I think it's good when he throws feints out. Uh, Magomedov was doing that in the first round, but he's not doing it as much in the second. I think it's very important when you have two really, you know, those skills perfectly match fighters together. Are you surprised that Will Brooks, Randy, isn't more active? I mean, as athletic as he is, as quick as he is, not using his speed maybe a little bit more, or is that the case of Magomedov just doing a great job defensively? Magomedov is using great footwork, controlling that distance, and making it very difficult for Will Brooks to close the distance like this and get to this clinch or to, or to be in any dominant position. A nice high lock by Will Brooks. He's going to see if he can trap those hips now with his legs and, and take this fight to the ground, I suspect. The winner of this fight comes back later on tonight, live on NBCSN. The winner, Mamedov and Tavares, will fight either Brooks or Magomedov in the semifinals. Yeah, the first round, Magomedov 14 strikes, hand strikes yeah. versus two, and 10 kicks versus three, and I think that's because of the reach advantage he has. Remember, we were talking about it yeah. with the tail of the tape. Great opportunity now for one of these fighters to really distinguish themselves here on the judges' scorecard with just 30 seconds remaining. Stealing around would be a great time here in this two-round affair. Magomedov did a great job of turning Brooks right there. Brooks, I'm telling you, Brooks is a strong, powerful guy. He's pressing the punch score. It's hard, even if he has to move. Those guys trained with bears, right? Here we go, the final 10 seconds. They're going to let it fly here. You see Rashid kick box of beer? Yeah, that will be something. There it is. Go through to the body side. So it goes to the judges' scorecards. And before we get to that, I'll ask my expert panel to my right, the pros, the Hall of Famers, Randy Couture, Boss Root, how do you see this one Boy, shaking down? Tough fight, tough fight to score. I think Mega Madoff edged him out by a little bit with just a little bit more effective strike. Exactly same thing here. I think it's because the reach advantage. He was staying just outside the reach of Will Brooks, but Will Brooks couldn't stay just outside the reach for him. And that's why he connected with those kicks and the punches. Yep. See what happens. Rashid Magomedov and Will Brooks go the distance. Here's that spinning back kick. Oh, oh, oh to the side. Man. That's right there. To the that's split no sliver. That's a beauty. Oh, liver shot, actually, yes. Very nice. That front kick, you see that is fresh in the heads of the judges as well. This was the good oh, yeah. right? And before that, you just had that little frame. Look at this. There it is. Right on target. That was the best punch of the fight, I would say. So Will Brooks got his points in. Rashid Magomedov certainly got his points in. But what did the judges say? Now, remember, the first round, if it is a draw, would be the tiebreaker. And guys, that first round is tough to call as a second round. Cajunomics tell you that Magomedov landed more significant strikes in that first round and kicks in that first round. Which, but again, very difficult fight to score. All right, here we go. The judges have their cards in. That means Joe Martinez has the official word as we now set it inside the cage. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. The totals are all the same, 19-19 for a draw. Therefore, we go to the tiebreaker, which is determined by the first round winner and advancing into the semifinals tonight. From Dagestan, Russia, Rashid Gorets Magomedov! 